Howdy, Saints. Uh, little short one today. I'm not feeling all that well. Got to just not feeling all that well. Uh, you know, the Lord tells us in the revelation given unto him by God. Blessed is he. Let me pull it up so I don't mess it up. Uh, you know, I don't like misquoting or misreading the word of God. Blessed he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time at hand. Blessed is he that readeth. Okay. It means we have a part to play in this being blessed. Which means favored of God. Favored by God. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Reading and hearing, that's taking heed. Because within this prophecy, there is multiple warnings. Now, we're not going to get into all the junk, as I would just say, that people like to get into and try to figure out. We're not going to get into that. We're going to look at where the Lord speaks unto the church, those that are sealed believers. And keep those things which are written in. We know that keep, because we've seen it in other places in Scripture, means to understand. The Pharisees kept the word in the flesh. Yet, they didn't have understanding. It is by understanding God's word. Whereas we become fruitful and useful to the kingdom of God for the time at hand. Now, so we read that one part there. A little sister posted a post today. And I'm gonna, and this is what got me wanting to speak on this today. The Lord says, now this is the Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. And will sup with him and he with me. And a lot of people use this as the Lord is speaking to the haters of God. Or those outside the house of God. The unbelievers. But saints, that's not the case. Here's where understanding is needful. And even a child can understand this. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back so I can read a little bit more on this portion. Uh, that's in Revelation 3. Da, 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 da. And this is a long one. Yep. And under to the angel of the church, the saints, we know the church is not compromised, comprised of unbelievers. The church, I will build my church. He's speaking to his church. Under the Laodiceans, right? These things saith the Amen, faithful and true witness, beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, thou art neither cold nor hot, or when thou were cold or hot, 
and then what he speaks of there, if you look, there's hot water serves a purpose. Cold water serves a purpose. There is a purpose for cold water. Lukewarm water, or just lukewarm. So then because you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I'm rich and increased with goods. I have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. He's speaking to the church. He's speaking to the saints. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, and thou mayest be rich, and white raiment that they mayest be clothed. And the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Now that's Revelation 16, 15. I'll need to go check that out. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Remember, Remember Paul, I said, and the Lord healing some people. As many as I love, I rebuke and chase. Now, we know who the Lord loves. Uh, be zealous, therefore, and repent. He's telling the saints to repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and he will sup with me, and he with me. Now, listen. He's talking to the saints. To him that overcometh. Now, a lot of people think they've overcame, and they ain't. Overcoming, uh, having a heart of overcoming is a continual daily process when we overcome our flesh. Paul says, I bring it under submission. I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down the throne, but uh, with my father in his throne. How did the Lord overcome his flesh? He submitted to God. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Again, the saints. Now listen. There's a lot of people that ain't got an ear. I'm sorry. They have been so deceived in some of these doctrines of man that they will not hear this. They will not hear it. Are they saints? Yes. The Lord is speaking to the saints here and says, repent. Okay. I want to go to Jude real quick. And Jude tells us that we need to keep ourselves in the love of God. Now, Jude speaks of a lot of people that did. And if you think that you're so special, you're going to fall. Keep yourselves, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most high faith. Building up yourselves. Second Peter 1, add to your faith. Building up your faith. Building up yourselves on your most holy face. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus unto eternal life. Jude said keep ourselves. So do we have some to do with our salvation? Yes, we do. Last but not least. Like I said, a lot of people say you can't do it. But Jude says that we need to keep ourselves in the love of God. And the Lord himself said these words. To the church of Ephesus, to the saints that are in Ephesus, these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. And who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how they cannot bear which are evil. And thou hast tried them that which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience for my name's sake, hast labored, and has not fainted. Has not fainted, but they ain't quit yet. But listen, 
to the next largest beast, nevertheless I have against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from where thou hast fallen, yes, a saint can fall out of love. Fallen and repent and do the first works. Are we supposed to do some works? Absolutely. The Lord says, do thy first works, or else I'll come and will remove thy candlestick, except you repent. But thou, this thou hast, that thou hast the deeds of Nicolosians, which I also hate. He that has an ear, here's that ear again. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Who the churches? The saints. To him that overcometh. Here we get with the overcometh. Will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the middle midst of the paradise of God. So brothers and sisters, I'm going to say something here today. I know you know someone that believes in this heresy called once sealed, always saved. Once saved, always saved. However you want to say it. If you know these people, you need to share this video to their site. Tag them with it. Make them see it. Because if you know someone that believes in that heresy, when God's word is so clear that that is not his ways, if you know someone and you don't share this truth with them, you will have their blood on your hands. It's that plain, it's that simple. So, like I said, it's going to be a quick one. I'm going to cut you loose. Always praying for you. Both things needful unto the saints. And I'll see y'all next time around.